The Hopkinton High School Annual Science and Engineering Fair took place virtually this year. Science teacher Kristen Murphy explained how it worked and announced the top three prizes and regional qualifiers. Video. They also looked at a slideshow and a project notebook. And this was the most competitive top three prizes that I can remember in program history. It was a really, really tight race. And we're so proud to honor our top three projects. So in third place, actually slightly unusual this year, but third place came out to a mathematical tie. Uh, so we are excited to offer two students the third place award this year, two wonderful projects. And these awards go to a project by Simran Carr, Phytodrugs, a novel approach on a planaria model of multiple sclerosis. So congratulations to Simran. And then also Mantra Rajkumar with automatic urinalysis system. So congratulations to these two wonderful projects. As you can see, they had wonderful presentations, really creative approaches involving 3D printing and moving worms that they were graphing as they, as they regenerated and just a really creative, thoughtful projects um, that they were able to do at home this year. So congratulations. Our second place prize actually goes to a student who's doing their first high school fair. It's one of our freshmen. So we're very excited to honor Eva Bennett who did a project on the development of an innovative alternative model for Teratato Genicity testing. So congratulations to Eva. She took on a really bold topic from home, did a wonderful job and such a great presentation. And as I mentioned, only a ninth grader. So congratulations, Eva. That's a really huge honor this year. And finally, our first place award. Um, goes to a team who's doing their second year of science fair. They took on a project that has huge importance for as we think about climate and the economy and situations that are changing as our world adapts. And so we're so proud of them coming up with a really creative and bold project. This goes to Brian, Barat, and Neil, whose project was designing the modern truck. So congratulations to our first place prize. And I believe Neil is on the call. I think the whole team is here, but Neil is going to say a few words to tell us a little bit more about their project. Uh, yeah, so, um, well, when we started the project, obviously uh, we were all quarantined and everything. And so we knew, right, there was gonna be a lot of different challenges this year. So finding a project, uh, we were lucky enough that like 3D modeling was one of our skills. And so that's how we, we settled upon a project where we could do everything um, everything uh, on our computers and through 3D modeling with online testing. And, uh, and uh, we found, uh, what we did was basically uh, we researched, we made a design and it was like classic design process. Uh, we made something, it failed. Then we went back to the drawing board. Drawing board. Uh, we found out what went wrong. We found out where we could go better. We did some research. We expanded our knowledge on the topic. We made our next design and we failed again, we did the same thing. Maybe we failed again and then we kept getting better like that. Uh, we did a lot of research. We all really expanded our knowledge a lot. And you know, it, this year really tested our teamwork skills. But uh, overall, yeah, it was a great experience for us. Great, thanks so much for sharing, Neil. And that's definitely something um, in the comments and we'll share out the judge comments with each student team this week. But something that came up in all of the feedback for this group was what great collaboration skills they have. Um, you can tell that they really are all involved in the project. All are so thoughtful about each step of the design um, and that you can tell you not only work really well with each other, but really like working together. And that really comes through in your presentation. So congratulations to Brian Barat and Neil for a wonderful first place prize this year. Congratulations. There were 12 projects overall that qualified for the regional fair. You can see the full presentation and all the regional qualifiers at our website, hcam.tv.